chestnut praline syrup. I used to live there in college my senior year. So, the funniest thing. It's the Olipop crisp apple flavor. And these shoes. It's 9 a.m., a little bit after 9, and I'm going to make a coffee. I'm also wearing this cute little PJ set that I got. I got these shorts and matching tank top from Amazon, and it's so comfy. It's like a satin material. I got it in two colors. This is navy blue, and then I also got it in black, and then I'm just wearing this Target robe. That's gray. I think it's cute and comfy, but I'm gonna make a coffee. I'm sorry, my head's cut off. I got some new coffee beans and I'm excited about these. They're the Winter Toast blend by La Colombe. This is the blend I usually get Nisa, but they just came out with the Winter Toast blend and it's roasted almond, chocolate mousse, and rum cake. And I just ran out of beans. So I'm gonna pour these in the machine and I'm, the one thing that i'm really excited about is it is the holiday season so obviously starbucks has their holiday drinks out and my favorite holiday drink is the chestnut praline latte and i was just thinking of ways to save money on going to starbucks all the time to get a chestnut praline occasionally i feel like it's valid to go but i don't want to be going like every single day but this is what i'm most excited about i got chestnut praline syrup and i follow this account on instagram and it's the macro barista and he goes to starbucks and orders drinks that are kind of lower in sugar not having as much added to it so you're still getting the delicious drink without all like that added sugar so he was talking about these skinny syrups i guess it just doesn't have any i mean it has fake sugar in it which is definitely still not good for you but it's better than going to starbucks all the time and having all that um other sugar and then this whole container was seven dollars i don't know how long it lasts but i feel like seven dollars for this whole thing you can get so many chestnut praline lattes at home out of it and i feel like one chestnut praline latte at starbucks is seven dollars so i'll link this down below for you guys if you're interested they also have other flavors of chestnut praline like totally isn't your jam like you don't love you don't love it so i'm really excited to make my morning coffee this morning and i've been dying to try this i haven't tried it yet because i have been wanting it to share it with you guys i hope it's really good and i'm going to be using one of my new holiday mugs i just think these are so cute i don't know why i am obsessed with this mug so much and then it says cozy on the inside and it was five dollars from target so what i'm going to use to make this is the elmhurst milked cashew milk I think I'm going to add in the Nut Pots French Vanilla when I add this syrup in. And then, since I can't make it exactly right like the Starbucks one because they have like some type of crumbled thing on top, I'm just going to put ground cinnamon and it'll probably still be just as good. So, this is what I'm going to do. The serving is two tablespoons, but I feel like that's a lot. Like, I don't want it to be too much, you know? So maybe I'll just add one. Yeah, I feel like that's already a lot. Okay, so I'm just gonna do half the serving size, so one tablespoon. I can always add more.
So I'm kind of deciding between the pumpkin pie spice or ground cinnamon. I think I'm just gonna go with the pumpkin pie spice if I'm being honest. Okay, let's try it. It is really light. Maybe I should have added two tablespoons. Yeah, it's really good. So go ahead and do the two tablespoons. I know it might sound like a lot, but it's good with that. I did the pumpkin pie spice. French vanilla nut pods and milked cashews. You could also do almond milk to make it taste a little bit more similar to the Starbucks, but this is good. Okay, I was fully going to wash my hair today, but I would have rather have done anything else besides wash it today. I'm gonna head out in a little bit to go run some errands. I dropped off Lululemon leggings to get hemmed last weekend. So I have to go there and I need to drop off and donate some clothes that I've had in my car <laughs> since I took clothes to Plato's closet last weekend, which I need to get out. I have to pick up a Sephora pickup order and I also need to go get some chlorophyll drops from Whole Foods because I ran out. But we're gonna do that in a second. I got a package in, which I'm really excited about. So this is like my favorite, like all time favorite crew neck company. This is my third crew neck by them. I'm just absolutely obsessed. So maybe you guys already know what I'm about to show you, but they just released a new color in their varsity crew neck and I had to get it because I love my other two colors. This is it. So I got an extra large in this one. I have an extra large in the white and the green lettering. And then I also have a gray one with white lettering that I have in a large. So I just prefer the extra large fit, but I can link the bar website down below. She constantly restocks like every few months. So if you're interested in getting your hands on this, definitely, I think she does like restock notifications or follow the bar Instagram and you can follow Bridget. She's the owner of the bar and she posts when they're restocking on both platforms. So I'm gonna head to Lululemon. I'll show you the leggings on that I got when I get back home. Let's run our errands. Foods and I picked up my Sephora pickup and then my leggings. What I got from Sephora, which I'm really excited to try, is the Sunday Riley Autocorrect. I was in the market for a new eye cream. I just always try to look for eye creams that are brightening, help with dark circles, depuffing, things like that because I do have genetic dark circles, so I know that technically nothing, I don't think any type of topical product will necessarily help, but um, I still try out certain dark circle helping eye creams, if that makes sense. So I'm really excited to try this. I've never tried it before. Um, it was on sale, surprisingly. So um, I'll link it. I'm gonna try it out tonight and I don't know if I should be using it both morning and night. Oh yeah, morning and evening. I know some eye creams are meant more for evening and some are meant more for morning. So I'm gonna use it morning and night. Excited to try this. 
and I went into Whole Foods to do a little Whole Foods haul. Mainly went in for chlorophyll and they didn't have like the generic chlorophyll so I got chlorooxygen which is kind of like the same thing I guess. I think it's just a different brand. I just noticed such a difference taking chlorophyll as opposed to not so I always try to take it. Um, I went hungry. So I got the Himalayan Gold Lesser Evil Popcorn. This actually tastes like buttered popcorn and it's um, dairy free. I got some Sleepy Time Tea. I've never tried this brand before and I got the extra Sleepy Time. So I'm gonna try it tonight. I've been like huge into teas this year. That was like my New Year's thing. This one's gonna look really weird. But this I'm like so excited about because I saw it online and I almost ordered a whole pack of it, but it's the Olipop crisp apple flavor. I got two of them and I thought I would just try one right now. I love Poppy and I also love Olipop. They're kind of just like the same thing. They both have like the same general flavors, but I like certain flavors from Olipop more than Poppy and certain Poppy flavors more than Olipop. So it kind of just depends but I'm really excited to try this. Interesting. It kind of just reminds me of like fall and winter. It's very much like an apple bubbly drink. It's really good if you like apple flavored things. I think I'm just thrown off because it's bubbly. And when I like think of like apple, an apple drink, I think of it being like flat because I think of apple juice. So I think I'm just like thrown off from the bubbly. Really good apple drink. Okay, I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna show you my leggings when I get home on. I really, I didn't try them on before I left Lululemon. So that's all of everything. Okay, I realized I never showed you guys the Lululemon leggings. I'm glad I got them hem though because they physically were dragging on the floor. And now they just kind of like skim the floor like a little bit but like with shoes they'll be great okay it's so much later but i'm getting chick-fil-a for dinner for christian and i and it's decorated Okay, I'm just in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. It's been a little bit. I um, have been just editing for the past few hours and now um, the UCF football game is on. So we're watching that and I'm grabbing us some Chick-fil-A for dinner and then I'm gonna go back home and continue editing, shower and go to bed. vlogged at all today um it's now about 4 15 i'm about to leave to head to the ucf basketball game with christian but i went to a really cute coffee shop this morning with taylor and maya it's called stemma and 
they have really good coffee cute environment they actually have macadamia nut milk which i feel like not a lot of coffee shops have that i feel like mostly they have almond milk or oat milk so i tried the macadamia nut milk in a latte and it was really good so i highly recommend if you live in the orlando area and then i went to the grocery store came back and um i literally sat on the couch for three and a half almost four hours editing a video trying to get it done so i could post it tomorrow and it's still not done so I might have to wait until tuesday because i don't know how much time i'll have to finish editing it linking stuff doing the thumbnail tonight and i don't want to like stress myself out to try and get it up tomorrow or like stay up late so we're gonna shoot for tuesday which bums me out because i like to i like to try and upload a video every five days but sometimes it's just hard but i'm about to change get ready for the ucf basketball game i'll take a few clips i did wrap up meal prepping i didn't want to try and meal prep when i got back from the game so i quickly just meal prepped our lunches for the week so i'm trying to figure out what to wear right now um i think just jeans and maybe like a black top or a white top because the colors are black and gold and then like kind of like white but if you guys didn't know christian and i are actually ucf alumni i feel like i've actually mentioned it a few times but i'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna head to the game Okay, I didn't have time to do an outfit when we were inside, but I'm wearing my Cuts tee. It's kind of like a yellowish, goldish, right? And then jeans and these shoes. And the sun's about to hit me in the face. And then I'm wearing my black Sherpa belt bag from Lululemon that I'm gonna wear constantly for the rest of fall and into winter. I hope you don't have to have clear bags for the game. If so, I'll just bring my phone and leave it in the car. Arc. I used to live there in college my senior year. What is it called now? Ark? Christian used to live here freshman year. <laughs> okay, we're just going on a little tour of UCF. Here is, um, Greek Park where all the sorority houses were and I was actually in a sorority in college and we're about to pass the house. Um, I was in 80 Pi and this is the house right here. It's so weird. I never lived in the house though. And here's KD and then there's Pi Phi and then there's the frat houses over there as well. More fraternity houses are down there but it's really small. Greek life road. So the funniest thing, I was like asking Christian what I should wear to the game and I was like, I've never been there before to the basketball arena. Now it's blurry. And <laughs> yes I have, I literally graduated in the basketball arena. So I have no idea where my head's at, but I just thought that was so funny. I was like, oh my goodness, yes I've been here, duh. I just thought that was funny. Okay, I have to leave my camera in the car because it is clear bags only. So I'm just bringing my phone and my ID and like a credit card. So I'm going to get some clips on my phone. UCF lost. It was a sad loss for us. Now we're getting Mexican food at, I'm gonna butcher this name because I don't know how to speak Spanish and I wish I did, but it's a new place called Las Carretas. But I'm excited. I'm gonna get a taco salad probably and definitely a side of queso. Mm -hmm. 